Hello everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Buggeroo Designs. And at long last, the Trucking Along Bundle is back in stock. Now, knock on wood, it's been in stock for several days. Doesn't look like it's gonna sell out today, I hope. I hope by the time you watch this video, either you have ordered yours or you can still order it. This has been probably one of the most popular things Stampin' Up! has ever had. It sold out, came back in stock and sold out again. So. If you want it, make sure you get it. It is the cutest bundle. We always love a punch, and I always love an old truck. So, of course, I love these. We're gonna make this card. I'm actually featuring this on my blog this week. I'll have five total projects for you, so make sure you hop back and check them out. Um, but we're gonna use the also the sketched plaid background stamp. I thought that went really well with this cute little fall truck. And um, I'm going to show you how to use this punch and how to make an extra little trailer for your truck. All right, let's make our background first. We're going to do something kind of different for the background. Um, I am going to use one of my new favorite colors, copper clay cardstock. And I'm going to get it situated here and I'm going to stamp. Let's make sure I've got that in place. I'm going to stamp my... Um, make sure my cardstock is straight. It doesn't look like it's very straight. I'm going to stamp my stamp, that's what I'm trying to say, in copper clay. And then we're going to take a white pencil and just add some more lines to it. So tone on tone stamping, that just means copper clay ink on copper clay cardstock. It's a really good look in my opinion. All right, beautiful. I don't need to lay it down again. We did a good job there. All right, now I'm going to take a white white watercolor pencil and I'm just going to add some lines through here now notice these lines are not perfect see they're all kind of crooked in like wobbly that's it's supposed to look hand drawn so don't worry too much about your lines uh oh my pencil just broke let's see if we can make it work ah I knew that was going to happen all right I grabbed another pencil let's see if this will work all right so I'm just going to use my ruler to add in some white lines no big, you know, specific, doesn't have to be, I don't know, exactly, exactly the same length apart or width apart. I just want to add in some more appeal, if you will, to my, to my, um, to my stamped image. Now you'll notice I'm going back and forth like that. It just is gonna give you a little bit of a darker line. Although that one I just did once and it looked pretty good. If you have a white gel pen, that will work well here too. Or even a chalk marker. I don't, I don't have one of those, but I think that would work as well. All right, now you can cut this down and just use it as your card front, but we're gonna do a little bit of splicing it, if you will. Look at that, isn't that fun? Just a, you know, just another, to make the plaid a little more exciting. And think about the other colors. You know, you could stamp it in red and add green to it for Christmas. Lots of options. All right, so now I am going to cut this down to four inches wide. Let's see, where are my markings? Four inches. And then I'm going to cut a, I'm going to cut several chunks if you will <laughs> that doesn't sound very appealing does it the first one i'm going to do is two and three fourths actually let's go in order let's do one and a fourth first okay and then two and three fourths and then one and an eighth now one and an eighth if you're looking on your trimmer it's the second line there if you're looking at your Simply Scored, it's just the one, the first tick mark there passed. Let's see, can I do it this way? Will that be a little bit easier? You know, you have measurements over here. Can you guys even see? Am I out of the frame? Probably. Let's see, is that one and an eighth? Let's measure it over here, yep. Okay, so one and an eighth. So now, I'm gonna take my Early Espresso card base, and we're gonna put the one and an eighth at the top. All right, and our two and three fourths in the middle and our one and a fourth at the bottom. So we're just kind of leaving a little bit of early espresso peeking through um, each piece. 
Um, now I'm, you guys, I designed this card two months ago when this, when this, um, let's see, do I need to put it like that? I do. I want those lines to match up. Um, two months ago when this bundle came out and then it sold out. So I've been holding it to show you, um, until it came back in stock. So I don't remember why I decided to do this to the, to the plaid. I think probably I was using a card sketch. Card sketches are great ways to vary your card designs. All right, there's our background. Now for what you really came for, right? The truck. Okay, if you have a stamparatus like I just used, you can use that to line your trucks up. But I'm gonna show you that you can also do it without lining them up as well, um, or without using the stamparatus as well. Um, sometimes it takes me a couple of tries to get it perfect, but you know, I think it's okay. All right, we're gonna stamp the outline. If I can get it inked up, right? Um, down here, across the bottom like that. And I'm gonna actually do it twice. Now let's look at our punch. Sometimes when you have a builder punch, you need to be cognizant of what's around it. This one doesn't have anything on the side, so I don't need to worry about the stamped image next to it. But if you have things stamped above, you might. So just keep that in mind. All right, now, it's been two months, guys. Can I remember exactly what I did on this card? I don't know. Let's see. I can't tell. I think I stamped in full strength. So let's see. Um, this is blueberry bushel. Yep. All right. Blueberry bushel is a pretty dark color. So you could stamp off if you wanted. Now I'm going to pull it down real close to me. So hopefully I can see it. And you just kind of want to look at the front and the back and the top and the bottom and see how you did. All right, now that didn't stamp very well. Let's try, let's just play around. Let's stamp off and see what it looks like if we did it the lighter color. Mm, I think I like the darker color better. Let's try, let's try two layers and see what that looks like. Hmm, I don't know. All right, now we've played around. <laughs> let's try something else. Let's try something else. Let's try stamping this one first. That might be easier. Sometimes I think one way and then I try it a different way and I'm pleasantly surprised. All right, I gotta pull it down so that I can see. Hopefully you guys don't see my head sticking in here. Ooh, I think that is better. Yep, look at that, perfection. Okay, so lesson, play around. Don't get frustrated if you do the first one and it's not perfect. Cardstock has two sides for a reason. So you can use both sides. Okay, all right, so what I learned is that I definitely do better if I stamp the solid first. Now, how about those tires? Um, now, they look like eyes, right? You might think it's like this because they look like eyebrows, but no, those are the tires. So put that down on the bottom and stamp and stamp. All right, lovely. Now, let's punch them both out. A little blue truck. This time of year in the fall, I like to see these old trucks with pumpkins in the back. But of course, I like to see everything with pumpkins. All right, now I have another video coming up that's gonna show you what to do with all these other pieces. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check my YouTube channel and my blog for more ideas. Okay, so now we're gonna make this a trailer, right? So all you have to do is cut it off right there. All right, so there, now you have a trailer. That's all you have to do. All right, so we have a tag. Let me get my tag, which is sitting under everything right here. And I'm gonna stamp these little accessories, but I need to know where to stamp them. So in order to do that, cause I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna pop it up. And if I stamp this like this, I'm afraid I might stamp on my truck. So grab a post-it note. These are the post-it notes that are sticky. The whole, like the whole thing is sticky. So they're really good for masking. So make a mask and put it where you think you're gonna want your truck right there, okay? Do we have enough room for the trailer? I think maybe he needs to go up a little bit, let's see. 
Well, it's stuck so good that my nails won't pick it up. There we go. Let's just move him up a tad. Just a tad. All right. Now I'm going to take this little guide rail in the back. I don't know what this is called, but you know what I'm talking about. The little wood slats. I got to pull it down again so I can see. We'll stamp that right there. All right. Now let's pull it up again and figure out where we think that trailer is going to go about right there. All right. So now I'm going to stamp. I stamped that in pecan. This is going to be a memento these little plants, if you will. Now let's take our stamp and blends and color them in. There is a fill-in image for both of these, I believe, but they're so tiny. And I love coloring with stamp and blends that I find it easier to do it this way. All right, so I'm just gonna take my light pecan pie and color in the little boards. I wish I knew the official name of these. Maybe you guys will tell me in the comments. All right, and then I'm gonna color in just one of these little pots. And I'm gonna go down a little bit further just in case my image in a little while is just a little bit higher. All right, I'm gonna do real red for this bucket right here. And then we'll do pumpkin pie. All of these are light, the light markers in the, in the blends combo pack. All right, now I've got, um, this is Light Berry Burst. And you know, if you wanna do spring, you could do just all green, but I kinda wanted some rusty kind of fall-ish colors. Now I'm gonna do Granny Apple Green, and then we'll bring back the pumpkin pie for these, for these leaves right here, which are flying around. I'm just gonna add some color in between them too. All right, now there's one other thing, and um, I shouldn't have torn this in half, I guess, if I wanted to see. We're gonna put, there's like this shadow, um, the shadow line right here, maybe it's like a mud puddle almost, and we need to kind of see right where we want it. So I'm gonna put it right there under those tires, and I'm gonna mask a little bit more. Let's put a mask like this, where our little trailer would be. And we'll just do part of a little shadow like that. Oops, mine's a little bit high. All right, now let's get rid of our little mask, our truck mask. And that looks weird, doesn't it? That's all right, it'll make sense. It will make sense. We're gonna put our big truck right here. Let's get him a little bit higher so he's touching those boards. And then we're gonna get our trailer ah, and put, I had two dimensional stuck to me, and put the little trailer right there. Now I'm just gonna take my basic black stamp and write marker and just draw like a little connection line like that to the to the truck so that our trailer is in fact being pulled all right let's put it on our card right here and it looks like maybe i trimmed off my tag on the other one but i don't think we need to do that here all right now I'm gonna put that right there for just a second. I have a stylus shape banner and we're gonna stamp special delivery on the right side. All right, let's get the trimmer, make it straight. So we're gonna cut that off and make a little flag. All right. Like that. All right, and then grab a toothpick. It's all you need is a toothpick and a couple of glue dots. I'm gonna put one down here on the bottom and one up here on the top. And 
we'll tuck this down like that and put that behind. And now we've got a cute little flag for our truck that says special delivery. So fun. All right, then I'm gonna take some linen thread, tie it, two, um, two strings at once so I have a double bow. And, uh-oh, I pulled that one. Let's see if I can straighten that out. There we go. Glue dots. And we're gonna put that right there on your tag. And there you have it. A fun, festive, and of course, I'm thinking fall card this time of year. Now, if you make this card in a different season, you can do different colors. Although, I don't know, these colors aren't necessarily, they, they don't necessarily have to be fall. Just kind of maybe masculine colors for the truck. I don't know. Either way, it's super cute and I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you have questions um, and check out the other videos that I have. Make sure also to go back to my blog where there is a free PDF with measurements and supply lists. Thanks everybody, have fun, bye-bye.